Hey kids, uh, Dr. Neff here in front of this magnificent giant pile of rocks. Why am I filming in front of a giant pile of rocks? I don't know, I thought it was a nice location. See, that's kind of going to be my shtick in this video series. I'm just going to stop places that I think look nice behind me and film something. Uh, but today's video is just going to be a little sort of a, a diatribe on what it means to be an MC. Because, well, if, if you're one of our subscribers or one of our Facebook fans, you're well aware that I am the voice of the Seven Deadly Spins. That's, that's my thing. They give me the microphone and I talk to you while the music plays. And I think you love me. I hope you love me. It would break my heart if you didn't love me. But seriously, uh, as an MC, your job is strictly, and I do mean strictly, to do nothing more than to make the DJ look good. I don't care if the DJ is pissed drunk and can't pull off a good transition to save his life and the lives of everyone else on the fucking planet. You make him look good. If the crowd's not into it, you get in the crowd's heads and you make the crowd love it. It's not as hard as it sounds. I know it sounds like it might be a little difficult, but it's not. Uh, it's, uh, it's honestly as simple as you enjoying it. If you're having fun, they'll hear it in your voice. And if they hear it, they'll feel it. And when they feel it, they'll give it back to you and you'll feel it. And more than once, that transition, that, that cycle, uh, has been enough to bring a DJ back from the brink. You know, kind of like in DJ Hero. You got, you got your star power and it, it makes everything better. Yeah, it's like that, except the star power is the MC. It's kind of a weird analogy. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll figure it out. We're, we're, we're going to do this over a series of videos. Just, just know that none of them are going to be planned. I don't know when it's going to happen or what I'm going to say, but I will, over the course of this series, explain to the best of my ability how to be a good MC. But that's... You know, the first thing you need to know is make the talent look good, make sure the crowd's having fun. The second thing you need to know is watch for dead air. If there is dead air, you fill it. I don't care if you have to grab a random beatboxer out of the crowd. How you doing, Flashburn? <laughs> You've saved us twice now, and we love you for it. Um, speaking of which, check that guy out, Flashburn Beatbox. You should be able to find him on, uh, on YouTube. I know he's on Facebook. He's amazing. Yes, I did just stop in the middle of a diatribe to plug someone else. Sue me. Uh, you know what? I'll probably put a link in the description, because he's that damn good. Uh, you, fill, you fill the dead air. You prevent the dead air. The dead air happens, the crowd dies. The crowd dies, the party goes away. You don't want that. The party has to run, or you don't get paid. And no, it's not all about the money. What it is about, actually, is the love. But sometimes, you don't have enough money to pay for gas to get home. And if you don't get paid, you get fucked. And nobody wants to get fucked. At least not like that. So, you're the MC, you're the stage manager, you keep the show going, all right? That's, that's what I'm getting at here. Uh, but the most important tip I can give you, and I'm going to reiter reiterate this at the end of every video, this isn't something that you can learn. I mean, you can try, you can practice, and you can get good. But if you don't know how to turn that little ball of stress, that stage fright that you get from being in front of a huge crowd with a microphone into talent, you probably shouldn't do this. You either have the personality to get into a crowd's head collectively and turn them into dancing sheep that love the music you're playing, or you don't. And if you don't, maybe you just shouldn't do it. Maybe you shouldn't. But nobody's going to hate you for trying. Nobody's ever going to hate you for trying. Because in the end, you should try. Trying just that one moment where you just throw caution to the wind and you get on stage and you feel the energy the crowd's feeding you. That moment. In that moment, you will find your true self. And it will be euphoric. So if you've ever wanted to get on stage in front of people, remember these 
rambling incoherent tips that I'm going to be giving you over the next few videos and just let go don't don't worry about what you're going to say the only thing you want to do is turn on your f-bomb filter because most places aren't going to be okay with it when you say get on your fucking feet into the microphone as loud as you can in fact a lot of places are going to have a a ban on swearing, particularly if you're doing a con rave, there are kids in the audience, you know what I mean? Uh, but seriously, you just give yourself over, say what comes to your mind. Uh, know the names of the songs. If you know the names of the songs, you can make a good reference. Uh, really cheap, easy reference? Your DJ's about to play Sandstorm, you pick up that mic and you say, kids, I think there's a storm coming fucking sandstorm starts. They love it. It's stupid, but they love it. Con quality isn't necessarily important. It's just knowing what to do. Uh, and I hope the next video is a little less uh, discombobulated, I guess, is a good word. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, I'm Dr. Neff, I'm the MC of the Seven Deadly Spins. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like. If you really like this video or anything else we've ever posted or just happen to have been to one of the raves we've DJed and you liked us, please subscribe because there's more content coming. I promise. See you guys next time.